With on shapes pattern commands, you can select between a linear, circular, or curved pattern, as well as a mirror to determine the direction of the pattern. Patterning is used to replicate selected parts, faces, or features to create new parts, or to modify existing geometry by adding or removing material or intersecting bodies in its path. Let's focus on the difference between patterning parts, features, or faces. In performing a part pattern, first choose the entities you would like to pattern, then the direction you want the pattern to occur. Note that you can select any entity in the part studio to set a direction. When patterning, determine the distance between the pattern entities and the number of times you want the pattern to occur. As with all pattern types, you can choose the pattern to be centered to the seed instance, or choose to pattern in a second direction. This is discussed in greater detail in future videos. When working with a part pattern, you must select a result body operation. The new operation results in new part copies being made of the pattern entity. An add operation results in the pattern entities being combined with the parts chosen in the merge scope. A remove operation removes material where the pattern entities intersect with the merge scope selections. Lastly, an intersect body operation leaves material where the pattern entities and merge selections overlap. Notice, if there is no overlap, a result of zero parts is acceptable. As a best practice, patterning parts in a part studio to create multiple instances is not recommended. Instancing parts creates new, unique parts and does not group them in the bill of materials. Part instances should always be created in an assembly, not with the pattern options in the Part Studio tab. This ensures a correct bill of materials. A feature pattern replicates a specific set of features chosen from the feature list. Make sure to select the associated features required so that they properly rebuild after being patterned. By default, a feature pattern does not take into account the end type of the seed. It copies the geometry of the original instance to avoid calculating the feature for each instance when unnecessary. This increases the performance of the feature. Notice, if a hole is patterned that is terminating at a specific plane, with the end type set to up to face, the pattern instances match the original seed despite the change in part depth. For patterns where each instance needs to be calculated, such as a varying end depth, the option Apply Per Instance is available. For best performance, leave the option unchecked when calculating per instance is unnecessary. Using the face pattern, you must choose the faces you would like to repeat. You may click each face or make the selection with the right mouse, Create Selection Option. Here, you can make face selections that make pockets, holes, or are tangent connected. Compared to a feature pattern, this pattern option is faster from a performance standpoint because it is just replicating the selected geometry. Think of this as an exact duplication of the face selections instead of being parametrically bound. If a face pattern and feature pattern type achieve the same geometry results, a face pattern is preferred because it performs faster. Patterns are a great way to replicate features, faces, and parts within a part studio.